Logan, in this specific game, at what point do you feel that it got away from you guys and you couldn't, you know, make the comebacks that you usually can? Um, I'd say probably not to the third. I mean, we, we believe in our team. Um, maybe 6-2 with 10 minutes left is probably tough, but I think 5-2 in the third period, 20 minutes, anything can happen. Uh, you know, we don't, we don't lose faith in our team, and right now it's just one more game. That's kind of what the playoffs is all about, the highs and the lows. How do you personally manage those emotions? Uh, just be positive. I mean, it is, I mean, we got to learn from it. Obviously, there's some things that we could, you know, sharpen up, but um, there's no two points in playoffs. It's just, a, you know, we won the first game, lost the second one. It's a good series, you know, right from the start. You know, we thought it was going to be tough and kind of go the distance. So um, that, that's, you know, it's fine. What's kind of the message that you and the other experienced guys give to those players who are in their first playoffs at the pro level? Have fun, play hard, um, you know, don't let the, the noise distract you and just enjoy it. I think uh, we have a good group in there, good group of guys, everyone kind of, you know, plays the right way and when we don't, bad things happen. So I think for us it's just, it's okay to, to make mistakes but just learn from them and just keep working hard. Even though it was seven goals, a lot of the bounces were kind of weird and then a lot of kind of rebound goals. What's the message to Keith Petrozelli, who has been solid all season? Yeah, there's nothing to say to him. I mean, we got to win both nets. Um, you know, tonight, obviously, we didn't win the battles around our net and um, nothing bad to say about Keith. I mean, obviously, we have to be better in front of him. Um, I know he'll, be, he'll bounce back for us next game. Is it good since it is a, like a playoff series that it's just, you know, you forget about it and just move on very quick? Yeah, you can think about it tonight if you want. I mean, you know, I'm sure we'll watch some video about it on Monday, and then after that, it, that's it. You know, it's done, and um, we will get ready for, for Wednesday night. Greg Morris talks about consistency for about two months, and you've had seven-ish periods here. There's some really great and some not. So what's the roadblock to that consistency here? I think it's just, like I said, doing the right things. And, uh, you know, it's okay to make mistakes and on the bench and we're never going to, you know, we don't really get after each other. We try to bring each other, you know, bring them the right spirits. But I think for us, it's just keep pushing. I mean, we, you know, we got to forget about it. It's, you know, you make mistakes, it's okay. You play a bad game, it sucks, but it's all right. We just got to make sure we win the next one. Greg, from your point of view, how did things unravel in the second there and why couldn't you guys get kind of back on track? Well, again, we were we were able to come back from being down. Uh, the resiliency of this team uh, was strong again early in the game. Uh, in the second period, there a uh, couple bad goals. I think uh, they did a much better job at kind of doing what we did to them in game one, uh, which put us on our heels a little bit. Um, I mean, we, we knew they were going to come out with a, a response and play much harder and have a better process than game one. Um, we just struggled to find momentum, especially in the second period. They did a really good job uh, of hemming us in our D zone and then uh, changing in, in their offensive zone, which uh, they got to play uh, against tired players while they were fresh. So that was really hard uh, in some of those sequences. We just needed to break that a little bit earlier and find our way out of it. The playoffs are all about the highs and the lows. So how do you manage the emotions of the group, especially for the guys where it's their first pro playoff experience? Uh, there's a lot of great voices on the bench, our leadership. Uh, they're all saying the right things. Uh, I don't think our team at any point today got down on themselves. Um, obviously, the, the score is what it is, but I don't think it's a reflection of, of where our team's mentality is at or our emotions are at. Uh, we just, we're going to stay positive. It's a series for a reason. It's a one, it's a one game uh, or one-off game. So uh, I think the whole hockey world's been talking about goldfish. So we'll try and put that behind us quick and get on to the next game. The next game isn't till Wednesday. So as a coach, do you kind of prefer having those days to go over video and get prepared? Or do you kind of like, you know, getting right into it? There's pros and cons to both. After a game like this, it would be nice to get right back into it. But it also gives you time to break it down thoroughly and make sure that our plan going into game three is strong. And, uh, you know, we hit the message home with our players. So uh, we'll take advantage of the two days here and get ourselves ready. Will a game like this kind of lead to a lot of discussion amongst the staff about the lineup? Every game we talk about the lineup. Um, so we'll, yeah, of course we're going to talk about it. We'll see. We'll, we'll break down the video. We'll reassess and uh, sleep on it and discuss it next couple days. What went into the decision to keep Keith in there for the third period? Uh, I, I mean, in game one, we came back down by three. So I didn't want to uh, you know, take him out of it. He did a really good job after being down early 3-0 uh, to come back in and then played strong throughout. 
Um, obviously, there was uh, uh, more offense by them there in that third, so at that point, uh, we took them out. But going into the third, I didn't feel like, uh, you know, we had the belief in our team that we could still have time to come back, and I wanted uh, Keith to have the opportunity. And is there anything you'd like say to him after a game like this, a really tough one? Uh, yeah, I mean, after games like this, I think emotions are um, at a certain place, and you, you want to let things kind of cool down, and we'll chat in the next couple of days. But uh, I'll let him process the game uh, himself right now. When and how do you decide if he starts the next game or not? Uh, I mean, we have three days to, to talk about it, so we'll see.